Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Carrie Elkins, Education Assistant at the Appleton Museum of Art. This is a lid of an effigy sensor, or incense burner, from the Mayan civilization. The lid is an earthenware object that would have resided on top of a large hourglass-shaped base, which would have been around the size of a toaster oven. The lid features the bust of a figure, perhaps a deified warrior, wearing a nose ornament, ear spools, and a large headdress featuring mold-made motifs and inlaid mica. Below the figure is a circlet of overlapping coins and two roundels mirrored on the left and right, similar in placement to a pectoral or necklace-like ornamentation. There are traces of the original red, yellow, and blue-green pigments that are still visible, as you can see highlighted here with evidence of a relief image on the bottom front of the lid. The inside of the lid is hollow, and the incense smoke likely would have come out of the figure's eyes. The Mayan culture revolved around rituals and their many gods, as well as customs related to death and their main crop, maize, or corn. The smoke from incense burners was a way for them to communicate with their gods and ancestors in both homage and prayer. Each subregion of the Maya civilization had their own stylistic variations of art, but there are some main conventions that incense burners tend to follow. While they are three-dimensional objects, incensaros were meant to be viewed primarily from the front. They also tend to have bilateral symmetry and a division of space that mirrors the division of the universe and its realms. Mayan iconography is complex, but tends to be related to recurring themes of sacrifice, transformation, and militarism, among others. As you can see, the headdress has horizontal lines that create registers, or tiers. On the uppermost tier are motifs of figures and sets of threes that are painted yellow in a harlequin-like pattern with a scallop detailing above them. The figures could be sun-related deities or could be reminiscent of the characteristics of corn. The second tier features motifs of tricolored curls emerging from a detailed base made up of horizontal registers. The third and most prominent tier is the detailed circlets with inlaid mica. Mica is a flaky crystal mineral that can also be used in wet ground form to provide shimmer in paint. This object originates from the Pacific coast of modern day Guatemala during the early classic period of the Maya civilization, but there are influences from Teotihuacan, a major ancient city of Mesoamerica located near today's Mexico City. There is evidence of interaction between these cultures through trade and war. You can see this influence in the facial features similar to Teotihuacan style figurines, which tend to have a prominent brow that extends across the nose, hairless heart-shaped heads, and slit eyes with dots of clay to represent the pupil. The ornamentations, or jewelry, are also specific to Teotihuacan-inspired warriors. The exact purpose and meanings behind these ornamentations are vague. Jewelry is highly visible and meant to be seen. They could have been intended to protect the body or cover in order to disguise, as we see in how the nose ornament completely covers the mouth of the figure. The ear spools are also quite large, as is the pectoral or necklace. In Mayan culture, each piece of ornamentation emphasized the relationship between the gods and their rulers. Some ear jewelry were believed to be small portals into the body that transformed sound into a sacred phenomena. Ornamentations also tended to be large and grandiose. Thank you for listening. We look forward to sharing more about our collection with you in the next Art Minutes. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.